Jeff Daniels, hot off his record-breaking performance as Atticus Finch in the Broadway production of To Kill a Mockingbird, stopped by The View to talk about Broadway and his latest TV series, A Man in Full. But the pervasiveness of this country's anti-democracy movement is so deep that despite Daniels' amazing accomplishments, the conversation eventually leads to the MAGA movement's leader and icon, Donald Trump. You're magnificent in a man in full. I couldn't, oh, it's stop, fun. couldn't stop watching. Yeah. Couldn't stop watching. Um, it's it's a far cry from your character in in Attic in um, To Kill a Mockingbird. It's based on the best selling Tom Wolfe novel, mm -hmm. and you play Charlie Crocker. Croker, Croker. Yeah, a larger, a larger than life Frankie real estate Crocker. mogul. Charlie Croker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was thinking Frank Crocker. Really a larger than life real estate mogul, obsessed with being a man's man. Yeah, right. He's a man's man. Back where men were men and everyone else was inferior. Well, in right. watching this, you can't help but draw some parallels to another, you know, real estate mogul that we're all aware of, Donald mm. Trump, who likes to stamp his name on buildings mm -hmm. like your character. He likes to inflate his wealth obviously has this big ego. Did you think it hit of him at all in playing this role? No, but... <laughs> you were just up late thinking about him. It's relevant. Um, uh, you know, I mean, again, Tom Wolf wrote it in the 90s. He yeah. based it on two or three guys in Atlanta that mm. he knew that I found out about a little bit. Mm. But, yeah, it's that larger than life. The correlation is larger than life. I'm worth zillions of dollars when you're really not. No. And, uh, and we're in a courtroom, you know, <laughs> pretending we didn't have sex with a porn star. <laughs> Hi. Here, here. So Jeff Daniels' understated dig at Donald Trump is masterful for a couple of reasons. First, it makes the issue of Donald Trump as a con man and a liar a matter of common sense. And coming as it does after his comment that this character is not based on Donald Trump, Daniels makes Trump out to be even smaller. There's nothing unique about real estate moguls thinking they are smarter than everyone else because they have more money. Because in fact, they usually don't. What Daniels is doing here is what the Clinton campaign should have been doing in 2016 dismantling the false image of Donald Trump. He's an unsuccessful businessman who lost at everything he invested in. Airlines, stakes, casinos. This guy went bankrupt owning a casino. He's also notorious for not paying people. Forget Rudy Giuliani. Trump's real estate empire rested firmly on his business not paying local contractors. A Clinton campaign could have literally lined up a hundred average Joes in front of the camera and had them say their name and how many tens of thousands of dollars Trump stiffed them. And contractors weren't the only victims. How about all those desperate people looking to get out of minimum wage or dead-end jobs by attending Trump University? He took vulnerable and poor people's money right out of their pocket and gave them nothing they couldn't get from YouTube videos. And his charity was so corrupt that he and his children are prevented from running a charity in the state of New York. This is the guy who showed up on The Apprentice and said, you're fired. Now he's trying to show up to a courtroom and say he didn't have an affair with Stormy Daniels and he didn't pay hush money to help his campaign. Jeff Daniels is using his time on the show to say to America, Come on, we all know it's a con. Time to get real with this. The Gropenfuhrer already admitted on tape to being a sexual predator who grabs women by the hoo-ha, and yet the Republican Party pretends that this is political retribution and not the continuing fraud of a fraudster. And the mainstream media still is hesitant on getting real. They barely report on Trump falling asleep at trial, and they still pay very little attention to the lack of Trump supporters showing up to protest, despite repeated calls from Trump to turn the place into a circus. The media almost seemed committed to normalizing this. It took the media over four years before they would say, Trump is lying. How long is it going to take before they say what we all know, that he's a con man, pure and simple, always was, 
always will be. And if you don't believe that, I got a Bible I can sell you. I'm Anthony Vincent Gallo for Occupy Democrats.